I mean, look, I have the greatest of admirations uh, for Google and what they've done. They are the 800-pound gorilla on this. They will definitely want to come out and show that they can dance. And I want people to know that we made them dance. And I think that'll be a great day. NVIDIA has become the most valuable company in the world. It is now valued at $3.34 trillion. A game-changing move that does not come from OpenAI, Google, or Meta. There is a new model that has all of the valley buzzing but from a Chinese lab called DeepSea. This is probably the biggest race on Wall Street since the internet boom. Microsoft is going all in, Google is fighting to protect its kingdom, and NVIDIA is the quiet giant making billions no matter who wins. In this high stakes AI war, there is no silver medal, just trillion dollar winners and losers. So it's really leading the charge. And what does it mean for investors? Let's find out. Now, before we begin the analysis of this epic AI war, you need to understand that this war is not as simple as Microsoft versus Google versus XAI versus NVIDIA. Everyone has a different role to play, but some will have to fight each other. And that is why we have divided this analysis into different chapters. Chapter one is Google versus Microsoft. Now, since the launch of ChatGPT, Google has been under real pressure. You see, search isn't just about answering questions. It's about monetizing attention. And that is where AI changes everything. Google currently controls 91% of global search. In 2023, it made over $175 billion in ad revenue, and most of it came from search. That's over 60% of Alphabet's total revenue, with margins down to 50%. Now, Microsoft's AI integration with Bing wasn't about user growth. Bing still holds under 3% market share globally. It was about narrative, enterprise trust, and bundling AI into Microsoft 365, and that worked. In 2024, Microsoft reported that over 60% of Fortune 500 firms adopted Copilot for Office apps, turning generative AI into a recurring revenue stream. Google, meanwhile, is fighting a deeper war. How to integrate AI without cannibalizing its golden goose? Every AI-generated answer replaces a list of blue links. That means fewer ads, lower click-throughs, and less revenue. So while Gemini improves with every release, the real question is, can Google protect its $175 billion empire while reinventing at the same time. That's the battle Google is fighting with Microsoft. But hold on for a second. Is this going to be a cakewalk for Microsoft? Not really. Google still holds a lot of leverage against Microsoft in many ways. Microsoft has access to GPT models, but doesn't build foundational models in-house at the same scale as Google. Google owns every layer of Gemini, right from data, compute, and model development, giving it deep control over long-term AI direction. Microsoft Azure's AI growth is constrained by GPU supply largely from NVIDIA. Google, on the other hand, has its own TPUs and custom AI hardware, lowering dependency, improving cost efficiency, and enabling faster deployment. And lastly, we haven't seen yet tighter integration from across Google around Workspace, plus Search, plus YouTube, plus Android, especially if Gemini becomes truly multimodal in real time. Given the usage of several Google's products and its existing adoption is insanely low if compared with Microsoft's stack. Both are fighting different challenges every day and have unique advantages at the same time. Now coming to chapter 2, NVIDIA, the silent winner. In every gold rush, the people who made the most money weren't the miners. It was the ones selling picks and shovels. In this AI gold rush, that company is definitely NVIDIA. And they are not just selling picks and shovels, they are the arms dealers in the most important tech war of our time. Whether you're OpenAI, Anthropic, Google DeepMind, or Meta's Llama, you all rely on one company to train and deploy your models. Over 90% of all AI model training runs on NVIDIA's GPUs. Now let's break down why NVIDIA is the real king of the AI race. Microsoft has spent billions building Azure AI clusters, almost entirely powered by NVIDIA's A100 and H100 chips. OpenAI's GPT-4 training used an estimated 25,000 plus NVIDIA GPUs. That's not just revenue, that's lock-in. Because training these models isn't like running a website. You need custom hardware, optimized networking, CUDA software, and years of engineering maturity. NVIDIA controls all of that. In fact, NVIDIA's entire AI stack includes chips, networking, CUDA software, DGX supercomputers. It's basically a vertical fortress and the market is rewarding them. NVIDIA's data center revenue in FY24 was $47.5 billion, which is now up 270% year over year. The margins approaching 70-75% to 75% in the data center, that's software level profitability on hardware. But here's the kicker, there's a shortage. AI demand is growing faster than NVIDIA can manufacture. 
the world's richest companies Microsoft Google Meta are in a bidding war just to get their hands on GPUs and because of that Nvidia can price like a monopoly and don't be fooled by the noise that Google has GPUs Microsoft is developing custom chips but none of them are even close to adoption Nvidia's moat isn't just hardware it's the entire ecosystem switching away from that would mean slowing down your entire AI roadmap by 12 to 18 months That is why Nvidia is one company where everyone is supposed to bet on and the ones trying to beat each other. Microsoft versus Google doesn't matter. Cloud versus Gemini versus GPT-5 doesn't matter. Nvidia wins either way. And that's the kind of asymmetric low risk high reward business model Warren Buffett loves. While you are the toll collector in the digital arms race, you don't need to pick sides, you just cash in. To give an investor takeaway in this, and Nvidia is the infrastructure AI of the AI economy. No true competition until at least 2026, 2027. Their real moat is developer lock-in, not just performance. Betting on AI without betting on Nvidia is simply like betting on oil without pipelines. Now coming to chapter 3, the quiet giants of AI distribution. So far we have talked about the companies that are building the picks and shovels of AI. But what about the companies who are already deploying AI to hundreds and millions of users in the real world? Tesla, Meta and Amazon are AI labs in theory. They are companies that are turning AI into products people use every day. Let's break them down. Now first we'll go with Tesla. Vertical integration in AI from chip to car. When it comes to AI in the physical world, Tesla is years ahead of the curve. While most companies are still training models in data centers, Tesla is actually deploying real-world AI interference at the edge of millions of vehicles. Their full self-driving platform isn't just a vision system. It's an end-to-end neural net trained on billions of miles of driving data, updated over the air and optimized for Tesla's custom dojo supercomputer. Now that's a critical point to remember. Tesla is one of the few companies which is building its own AI training infrastructure. It's also the only one with a closed feedback loop between data training, deployment, real-world feedback and then retraining it again. And while critics focus on whether full self-driving driving is truly autonomous, investors should ask, who else is deploying AI at a global scale with proprietary hardware, fleet data and a direct software update path? The answer is no one. Tesla isn't just a car company, it's becoming the iPhone of AI powered mobility. In Buffett terms, Tesla owns the data, the distribution, the hardware, and that's a rare trifecta. Now coming to the second one, Meta, the most underrated AI powerhouse. Now Meta doesn't get enough credit in the AI race. While the spotlight is on ChatGPT and Gemini, Meta quietly released the Llama 3 models, which are amongst the most powerful open source LLMs on the planet. Now, why does that matter? Because Meta's entire strategy is about owning the ecosystem by giving it away. Just like Android helped Google dominate mobile, open sourcing Llama helps Meta. They're able to shape the developer ecosystem, ensure their products like WhatsApp, Instagram, Messenger stay deeply integrated with AI agents, and they can prevent platform lock-in from competitors like OpenAI or Google. And here's the edge. Meta has 3 billion monthly active users, AI models that are being trained on their own proprietary behavioral data, and billions of daily content impressions to test and optimize recommendation. Whether it's AI and agents inside WhatsApp or content tracking on Instagram, Meta is deploying AI at an unparalleled consumer scale. It's a massive distribution. And if you believe that AGI might arrive in open source form and not behind a paywall, Meta is one of the most defensible bets. And last but not the least, Amazon. AI embedded in commerce and cloud. Now Amazon isn't trying to win headlines in the AI race, but don't mistake this silence for irrelevance. It already owns two of the most critical AI deployment channels, e-commerce and cloud infrastructure via AWS. Now let's start with retail. Every product recommendation, warehouse movement, delivery time, fraud detection algorithm at Amazon is powered by machine learning. Now add that to Alexa, which might have stumbled in the consumer AI race, but still exists in 100 plus million homes. And finally, the AWS bed- Rock Amazon's strategy to be the Switzerland of AI models. Do you want open AI models available? Anthropic available. Meta's Llama also available. Amazon doesn't care who wins the model war. It wants to be the place everyone deployed their models. If AI is electricity, AWS is still building the grid. These companies won't win the model war, but they don't have to because their real advantage is actually owning the distribution. In the face worlds, that's like being Coca-Cola, not the best chemist, but the best brand. In the best shelf space, the best reach. and in the ai race distribution might just be the final moat so chapter 4 Who's really winning this war? Short answer: Everyone is winning, but differently. Microsoft is leading in enterprise AI thanks to OpenAI. 
Google is still dominant in infrastructure with billions of users and a long R&D runway. Nvidia is definitely the biggest winner for now because it profits from everyone's AI ambitions. Tesla, Meta and Amazon are hedging long-term bets that could explode in value or fade quietly. But in the stock market, high fades, distribution scale and real cash flows decide who survives. And we at Appreciate have made sure that you don't lose out on capitalizing such opportunities. You can invest in US stocks such as Meta, Microsoft, Nvidia, Amazon and many more if you want a piece of the AI race. With Appreciate, you can get started easily with fractional shares, meaning you don't need to buy entire stock. There are no account opening fees and no maintenance charges. Everything is fully compliant under the liberalized remittance scheme with zero paperwork, so you can get started instantly. We also provide curated watch lists and insights designed to help Indian investors like you make informed decisions. So whether it's AI, tech or the next big trend, we make sure that you are part of the opportunity. The world's top stocks are just a tap away. Download the Appreciate app and begin your investment journey now. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.